Glossary. Add key terms. A glossary typically contains key terms and definitions in a subject area. For instance, this theatre glossary. With the Moodle glossary, you can browse by alphabet, category, date or author, and you can also search for particular key terms. Because Moodle encourages collaboration, learners can add key terms to a Moodle glossary, so you could create a glossary where they build their knowledge together. Let's make a glossary activity. To do that, we need to enable edit mode top right and either click add an activity or resource at the bottom of a section or anywhere on the course page between activities. This brings up the activity chooser. Glossary is an activity because learners interact with it. Click once to go straight to the setup screen or click the eye icon for more information and then click the add button bottom right. Name is important because this is what the learners will see on the course page. In the description, you can add the instructions you want to give them for writing their terms, and you can display the description on the course page by ticking the box. There are many other settings, and you can find out about these and explore them by expanding the links, such as if we click Entries, we can decide whether to allow all entries to appear immediately, or whether we want to moderate them first, whether we want to allow duplicate entries, in other words, can two learners post the same term? And whether we want to allow them to comment on each of these entries if comments are enabled. Linking glossary entries means that if a term is added to the course page or items within the course, then it is automatically hyperlinked to the glossary entry. This makes use of filters, which we explore in a separate video. Likewise, if we click on Appearance, we can decide how we want the glossary to be displayed, for instance, how many entries to show per page. In Activity Completion, if we want to track that students have accessed the glossary, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've seen it, or do we want it automatically marked complete when they've simply viewed it, or received a grade or made a required number of entries? No need to select View if you have other criteria as well. To alert course participants that a glossary activity has been added or updated, we click Send Content Change Notification. After clicking Save and Display, it's useful to add a first key term by clicking the Add Entry button. This is what learners will do when they contribute to the glossary. For Concept, we take the actual word, and in definition, we type what it means. It's possible to add keywords and also to add attachments to the glossary. And you see that as we go through each entry, we can decide whether it should be automatically linked or not. Finally, we save the changes and we have a glossary with one entry in it already. And if you're considering trying the glossary activity, it's worth also exploring the random glossary entry block.